Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Extal, and today we're going to start creating some creative effects using Touch Designer. This lesson is designed to be concise and easy to follow. As you go through the steps with me, you'll experience the feel of Touch Designer and hopefully create your own unique masterpiece along the way. First, select the movie file in Node and load the video you want to apply effects to. Make sure to adjust the resolution to match your custom settings for the desired outcome. Next, connect the Texture 3D node to enable 3D texture processing. Finally, connect the Time Machine node to add time-based effects. With these steps, the foundational process is now ready. Start by adding a ramp node and setting its resolution to match the video. Then connect it to the Time Machine node, click on the ramp bar to add a black color tab. You can use the ramp bar and color picker to add as many color tabs as you want, with each tab having its unique color and alpha value. Select a color tab by clicking on it and change its color to black or white. You can also click elsewhere on the ramp bar to add new color keyframes, allowing you to experiment with a variety of effect ranges. If you have too many color tabs, you can simply click and drag a tab to delete it. After adding an LFO node, click the plus shape, the output pin of the node, and connect it to the phase parameter of the ramp node. If the motion feels too fast after connecting, you can adjust the speed by lowering the frequency value of the LFO node. Try out different values to find a motion speed that matches your style. Duplicate the ramp node to create three instances and then connect them using a switch node. Finally, link the output to the Time Machine node. This setup serves as a foundational step for creating a slit scan effect by blending various shapes to achieve dynamic and visually engaging results in Touch Designer. Experiment with different presets or custom settings in the Ramp node to explore and discover the style you want. The Ramp node offers various type options, including horizontal, vertical, circular, and radial. Horizontal and vertical create gradients in horizontal and vertical directions, respectively, while circular generates circular patterns, and radial creates radial gradients spreading outward from the center. Combine these types or adjust parameters to create your desired slit scan effect. There's another way to adjust the motion speed besides using the LFO node. In the phase parameter of each ramp node, try entering absolute time seconds times number. 
absolute time seconds is a global time variable in Touch Designer that represents the elapsed time in seconds. By multiplying it with a number, you can fine tune the motion speed. Use this method to flexibly control the animation speed of your slit scan effect This time, we'll use the time machine and noise effects in Touch Designer to create time displacement. First, load the desired video and adjust its resolution. Then, add a 3D text object and connect it to the network. Set the cache size to 70 to allocate space for storing frame data. Next, connect the 3D text to a time machine shop to apply time-based transformations. The time machine uses the stored frames to display frames from the past or future. Now, let's connect a noise chop to the time machine chop to create a ripple-like effect. Noise Chop generates random values that change over time, adding natural movement to your text or objects. After connecting it, adjust parameters such as amplitude, frequency, and offset in the Noise Chop to fine-tune the pattern and behavior. Experiment with these values to create the desired ripple effect for your visuals.
Next, I'll show you how to add dynamic motion to the noise pattern. Use the LFOCHOP, which generates low frequency waveforms, such as sine waves or triangle waves, to introduce periodic changes to objects or effects. Connect the output of the LFO chop to specific parameters in the noise chop to create dynamic changes. For example, connecting the LFO chop to the exponent parameter of the noise chop will cause the noise clarity to oscillate between sharp and blurred. This is great for emphasizing or softening the intensity of your visuals. If you connect the LFO chop to the harmonic parameter, the noise pattern will exhibit smoother and more complex movements. The harmonic parameter modulates the noise frequency, creating a more fluid and organic feel. This can significantly enhance the dynamic quality of your visuals. Experiment with different parameter combinations to find the style of motion that suits your creative vision. Thank you for following me here. Based on what we covered in today's lecture, I hope you create your own creative work. If you have any questions or want to learn more about a topic, please feel free to leave a comment. I hope this lecture will help you create, and I'll see you in the next lecture.